Well, hello and welcome. Today I've got a very special one for my fellow YouTubers out there. I have a brand new tool to show you today, which is absolutely free and it's provided by Stream Elements. Now this is gonna allow you to do loads of really cool stuff within the description of your YouTube videos. You're gonna be able to create goals which update automatically. For example, for me, my current goal is to reach 2000 subscribers on YouTube. As more people join, it will update. Oh my god, how amazing! But we can go a bit further than that, we can also add in things like your latest subscriber. And again, as new subscribers come, that name will update on all of your videos. If you're set up with the tipping setting, you can actually have it so it shouts out whoever has given you the most recent tip and how much. Honestly, this is such a cool thing to include on all of your videos and it's really, really easy to set up. And while we're in there, I'm also gonna show you how we can pull out an automatic shout out for all of your latest subscribers, Discord members, or even your recent Patreon members. And you can then embed that on your videos each time that you upload. There's just too much stuff. I'm really excited to show you, so let's get to it. this tool within the standard stream element so if you're familiar with that already you need to go to a different location i'll put the link down in the description but you can see here it is actually mercury.streamelements.com now this is within beta so it is kind of in testing stage but you do have access to it all of the tools within here are free but what that means is that there's probably going to be loads and loads of changes that are going to be coming really soon as well so at the time of recording this is what we can see at the moment so the first thing you're going to want to do is hit get started and that's going to take us straight into the login so we just want to make sure that we choose our correct login and go ahead and do that now when we first come in here we actually get a nice little dashboard area which just summarizes what's been kind of going on with our youtube channel which is kind of nice in itself so let's start with how can we add those dynamic updating shout outs and links and goals to our videos so to do that we just need to come to my videos on the left here now if this is coming through as blank just hit import new videos at the top but when i first came in everything was already here which was awesome you do have a few filtering tools up here at the top right if you do want to kind of sort them out look by maybe changing visibility if you want to apply these to ones that are maybe scheduled to be posted you could do that quite easily now at first you'll actually see that there is nothing within here it will originally kind of say to go ahead and add a widget into here but i've already done that i've already added a couple in so you can see that i have a subscription link i have my subscriber goal and i have my newest subscriber being pulled through so what i'll do for this example is i'll just show you by editing an existing one what that looks like so when you first come in here what it's going to do is it's going to pull through the existing description that sits on your videos already so you will see all of the usual stuff that you post within there is already here. So all you need to do is come in and customize this and add in where you want your goals to appear. As you do this at any time, you can go ahead and preview and that will allow you to then take a look and see exactly how it's gonna look like actually when it's live. So we're gonna ignore my existing one down here at the bottom. I'm just gonna show you how we add these in. So let's make a little bit more space put the top here. And all you're gonna to need to do is kind of write a little bit about what your goals are, just so it makes sense as to why these widgets are there. If we just have the actual sort of counter on its own, it's not gonna make much sense. So in this example, we'll use a subscriber goal again. I just wanna duplicate what I've already done so you guys can see exactly how to set that up. So very quickly, we will set this up. Help me hit 10,000 subscribers. My current goal is only 2,000. <laughs> but if you want to help me hit 10,000, you know what to do. It's, it's just down there. <laughs> and this time, instead of putting it next to it here, all I can do is over on the right hand side, we can see all of our available widgets. So within here, I've got my subscriber goal. If I line up my little cursor where I want it to appear, I can just click this and it will automatically put this in here. Can you see here, it has said set channel subscriber goal and that is trying to update it to 2000. If I do that and apply it as a channel goal, it will go and update all of the other widgets that are on all of my videos. So I've actually applied this already to every single video. So if I change this to 10,000 and apply that goal, it will then go ahead and roll that back to all of my other ones, which is amazing. So for you guys, I'm going to change my goal. I'll probably set it back afterwards because <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of way off yet, I do think. 
and we can see what that's done here is it's updated it little lines showing now just kind of lower down rather than all the way across and it's now updated here so we're 10 percent of the way there but look what it's also done down here it's updated the previous one that i have so my live video of these on will now say i'm looking for a 10,000 subscriber goal so what else can we add in here let's come down you have things like your patreon supporters goal and discord members so that's a really nice way to give them a shout out as well if you are going to use these tools here you will need to come to connections on the left and update there so you need to connect and, and link in those accounts the nice thing is is that stream elements is actually giving you the chance to vote on which connections you want to see appear next so go ahead and take a look at that cast your vote i obviously voted for twitch but it's nice to know that these things are probably going to be coming really soon now you might want to encourage people to subscribe once they're actually reading within here so you have things like adding a subscriber link um, and that will just take them to the screen with the pop-up that comes up that says that you can now subscribe on your YouTube. We can also add in a tipping link. Now this is absolutely fantastic if you don't happen to be monetized just yet. Now YouTube recently announced that they were gonna be allowing people who are monetized to be able to receive kind of like tips on their videos. So not just on their live stream, but on their videos. If you aren't monetized yet, you could actually use this to set up your own tipping link, which would allow people, if they found your video really helpful, to actually leave you a tip and say thank you. How cool is that? You of course also have links to things like your Patreon and your Discord if you are promoting those too. Just remember you would need to connect all of these as I mentioned before. Now I really like this spotlight section because this is going to allow you to show who your latest subscriber is and again that's going to update as new subscribers come in which is a nice touch. We could show latest tippers, your newest Patreon supporters and your newest Discord members there. You can even add a poll in if you want to at this point. So let's add in our next line. I'm just going to add our new subscriber. So we'll say welcome and thanks for joining. And then after that, I'm just going to add in the newest subscriber there. Now you see, you can just click it or you can actually drag it exactly to where you want it to go. So that's quite a nice way to be able to just move things around there. And lastly, let's finish it off with that subscriber link. So just like the one that I have set up, please help me reach my goal by subscribing here and then i can pop in my subscriber link now if that is all i wanted to do brilliant i can just hit save changes at the top but what about if i want to apply this to all of my videos well they've got you covered because they also have templates that allow you to do this now i didn't use the templates the reason for that is because i didn't want the first thing that when people came down into my video description to see was all of this. So for SEO scoring, I actually prefer to have the video title right at the top within the description, along with the actual description of the video itself. Because if this was to show on Google, if someone was searching for your video, what would happen is in that little bit of text box that you get on that preview when it describes what the video is about, if I did it like this, what you're gonna have is just me begging for subscribers. <laughs> which isn't ideal when you're leaving a first impression. So what I actually did, I've deleted that out, taken this back up. I put mine so it actually appears below the description, but just above all of my usual links and stuff. So that typically what you're gonna find is that once you've read the information that you wanna see within the description, you then get this. It's just a little bit less in your face because I mean, you might want it the other way around, but that's just my personal preference. But what I did is I just simply, once this was set up, I copied the message and I pasted it into all my videos. I actually don't have like hundreds of videos at the moment. So it was quite easy for me to do it that way. But if you don't wanna do that, you can actually go and create templates over here on the right hand side. Add in each of the widgets that you want to display and then hit save template. This will then allow you to apply this template to every single future video, even all of your historical videos all in one go. So if you already have something as standard that you tend to set up within YouTube, say with all of your affiliate links or all that kind of stuff, you could actually have that pasted in here as well as your template and kind of embed these widgets around there just to make it a little bit more easier so you've got less sort of admin to do. So if I come back to my videos here, you will actually be able to see eventually how many widgets are linked to every single one here. And we can see as I go through and hover over that all of them have updated to 10K. Do I leave it at that? Is that a bit much? Oh, I don't know. I, I might have to add a poll. <laughs> 
So the last thing that I wanted to show you is also really, really cool. As if all that other stuff wasn't enough. Look at this. We can create a video which is going to have all of your latest subscribers, for example, and then we can export this and include it in this video. So watch till the end. If you've recently subscribed, I'm going to be adding this into this video so that you will see exactly what it looks like. So we can come in here, we can drop this down and we can choose all of the different items that you've linked in. So if you've linked your Patreon, your Discord, you'll be able to choose to shout those out as well. That's pretty cool. If you are monetized, you'll be able to include your YouTube members. I'm not, so I can just choose my subscribers and I'm quite happy shouting out my subscribers because you guys are awesome. Now we can choose who has joined, say, since the last video in the past week. So you can see there I have 11 names that are going to come up. Hi, guys. <laughs> Or we can set that to the past month. Now you can see in here coming soon is going to be the ability to select a certain date. So a date range, that's going to be cool. I actually want this to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to choose in the past month. Obviously you're going to need to adjust this for the size of your channel. I'm relatively small, so I can actually go ahead and choose the longest one in there. Get loads and loads of shout outs in there. Now we can also change this message here, which relates to this bit here, which says thank you for joining. So let's change that latest legends that fits in nicely <laughs> we can also change the scroll speed here and also the maximum number of subscribers that you want to show so if you're absolutely smashing out there and you're getting like 10 million a day <laughs> you can just limit that down so that this doesn't go on and on forever there are a couple of things here that we can do to change how this is going to appear so we can make that go really really slow or we can speed it up to ludicrous speed now that's going to be for you guys that are absolutely smashing youtube and have like 100 subscribers an hour <laughs> so we can have them whiz past i actually quite like it just regular and we can also limit the maximum number that we want to appear on there so again if you've got loads you you might want to just limit that down so it does end at some point <laughs> Now, when you change this, what it will do is it will tell you the video length and also the size. So keep that in mind as to how long you want that to be, because you might want it to appear a little bit quicker or slower. To be honest, you could actually slow it down and speed it up within your editing software. But it's kind of nice that it shows you this because it just allows you to make that decision to save you a bit of editing time later on. <laughs> Now there's a couple more options that we can set up and it's just up here at the top. You might actually want to change the color of this. So for me, I'm probably gonna go for either like the pinky one, actually no purple, definitely purple. I could be tempted by blue. For me, it's definitely purple, um, but you've got a few colors there. So it's hopefully gonna fit in with whatever kind of color scheme you use. Now at the top left, we can also switch how the layout is. So at the moment it's horizontal, which I think I actually like best because it's, it's kind of the clearer one of the two it does take a bit longer. So if you have a lot more names to fit on, it might actually be a better idea to actually use the vertical one. As you can see in here, this is a much shorter video. It's only 11 seconds this time, but the names are much smaller as well, but the, it's there for you to choose which one you like best. I'm gonna set that one back. Pretty happy with that. If you wanna export the data, that's just gonna give you the list of all of those names. So that's pretty cool. If you actually wanted to make your own one of these, then you've got the list of everybody to include within that. But I don't want to do that. I've got enough editing to do. So I'm going to generate a WebM file just by clicking up here. It's going to give me a quick summary there of how long it is, what's the video size, all that stuff, um, generate and download. Now, it might take a couple of minutes for this to generate, but once it has, you can click this little button here to then get a little preview of what's been pulled through. You can then, of course, go ahead and download that and save it ready to use in your next edit. So as we wrap up the video, let's have a look how that shout out actually looks. So with any luck, if we look down at the bottom, we should be able to see your wonderful names whizzing past. So welcome in all my recent subscribers. If you found this video useful, you know what to do. All of those things that I love, 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 like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.